Recent reports suggest that Mondelez International has plans to invest rupees 4000 crore in India between 2023 and 2026. Brands from Mondelez International such as Cadbury and Oreo are well established in India. According to Nielsen data, in the chocolate category, Mondelez India has 65% market share and Cadbury Dairy Milk alone has 40% market share. The new investment by Mondelez International will go towards ramping up capacity in existing production units. The funds will also be used for expansion in warehousing, logistics and cold chain infrastructure. And Mondelez India is keen on expanding facilities in rural India. All the three categories that we play in have done exceedingly well including during covid times. So Bone Vita for instance the immunity boost that we got from the immunity package there. The 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 biscuits did exceedingly well because it was a comfort food for people at home. and chocolates became a small treat because you know all the big trees were going out etc that really uh, sort of you know were not an option at that time so we are seeing a, a robust growth across all three which is the three categories that we call chocolates biscuits and bake snacks US manufacturer Mars also has plans to expand its India operations. Mars products like Snickers, Galaxy and pet food brand Pedigree have been doing well in India. Products in the range of rupees 10 to 50 have accelerated the company's growth. According to reports, to scale up pet food manufacturing, Mars is investing rupees 500 crore for brownfield expansion of its Sidipet plant in Telangana. India's chocolate industry is lately seeing more interest as well as flow of investments. Towards the end of the last year, Reliance Consumer Products acquired 51% in Lotus Chocolate Company. Previously, Nestle had planned to invest rupees 5000 crore by 2025 to expand capacity and brand. So, what is driving the manufacturers to invest in India's confectionery market? There is a growing a growing aspirations of Indian consumers. You see more and more consumers moving up the value chain, moving to moving to more sort of uh, you know more uh, or slightly more um, what's the word for it non discretionary products so living standards also going up not just in urban india but also in 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 r- urban and, and rural india we also seeing a lot of vending machines now and what we have seen by large companies is that they have given a lot of uh, you know better displays even to kiranas if you look at any any you know uh, mom and pop store neighborhood stores you see a lot of chocolate vending uh you know so solutions there whether whether there is a merchandise whether there is a stand with a the glass the glass stand whether there are also freezers cold 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 storage as well so all of that is also making the distribution of chocolates easier according to the imarc group the indian chocolate market touched 2.4 billion dollars in 2022 it says the market will surge to 4.1 billion dollars by 2028 and during 2023 to 25 it will be registering a compound annual growth rate or cagr of 8.8% Currently the annual per capita chocolate consumption in India is 140 grams while the figure is a whopping 10 kilograms for the United Kingdom this suggests that India has enough room to grow in the chocolate market in the coming years India's growing chocolate consumption rate shows a huge expansion potential for the confectionery market. During the October December quarter last year, amid the slowdown in overall consumption, demand for chocolates was on the rise. Despite the market growth, India is largely reliant on cocoa imports to make its chocolates. India has to step up cocoa production in the country and depend less on exports if the rising chocolate demand is to be met. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn.